go. What's up, everybody? Laser Gaming coming to you with some more fishing planet. Uh, we are back in the Congo River. We have three poles this time. So we got one on the bottom, one on the bobber for big fish, and then one on the bobber for the smaller fish that are on that list for the exploration completion. So we are ready to roll. I'm pretty sure we have everything that we need. So let's get the party started. If you're new to the stream, smash on that thumbs up button for me. Throw a share out there. If you're not a follower, join the Leisure Family. Hit that follow button. If you're on Twitch, become a follower. Join the Leisure Family there. And you can join me in the chat. And we're going to get this party started. Dude is Sully starting off the stream right off the rip. Smashing on the thumbs up. I appreciate it, buddy. Thank you for that. And we are going to get on our little boat here. And we's going to get going. So let's go to our spot. We're going to cruise right on down here. Woo! We're getting it right now. We're headed down to our little lucky spot. And then we'll check the, uh, the time of day far as like if it's the best time of day or not and see what's going on with that I'm gonna try to max out this bag with some fish and we just gonna get this party started people are catching trophy goliath tiger fish right now so this is what we're looking for alright so let's coast around real quick and then uh, we're gonna see what's going on here. Let's look for some uh, for some fish. See what we see what we're looking like here. I would prefer that we actually got somewhere near shore because I'll have two fishing rods and the pole holders, and then I'll have one in my hand. So right now we're showing some fish right there. See what we got here. We'll see what we got going on. What I would like to do is find somewhere where there's ripples in the water because I know that I'm going to catch fish in that spot. So I'm looking for a spot if I can 
Look for some. We're looking for some ripples in the water. Is what we're looking for. Let's check the time of day. So we're coming down right now. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and fast forward time to the peak time of the day, and we are going to look for some ripples in the water here. Usually you can find them. Once you find them, that's where you want to fish. So I'm looking for them. I would prefer to stay by a shore somewhere relatively so I could fish for the smaller ones. That's the goal. I can catch the smaller fish that are on that expiration list while I'm doing this, but I'm looking for some ripples in the water here. I don't see any. I know they're here. This is this is like my go-to spot. Like, I catch a lot of fish here. So I'm looking for a good spot. And right now, I'm not finding one. Like right there, you see a couple of fish on the fish finder there. Okay, we're just cruising around at the moment. We're looking for a decent little spot to drop some lines here. That's what we're trying to do. I got some fish down the bottom there. Um, I was preferring to find a spot that you know where you could see them surfacing. It's usually a good indication. If you throw a bobber in that, you are in there. Wow, that was a pretty big one right there. Usually, typically, if you throw a bobber down in those ripples in the water. You're in for a good time. I don't see any. Maybe we will see them as it gets later. Maybe. So for right now, we're going to cruise up into the shore area here. And uh, we're going to try to target some of the smaller fish here. Along with targeting the bigger fish. We're going to spin around. And we're going to see what kind of luck we can get. So, we're going to back our boat up in here a little bit. And then we're going to anchor down so the boat don't move. All right. So we got some fish on the fish finder here. We got rod number three, and we got maggots on it. Uh, seems to be supposed to be one of the better baits for these guys. And we're sitting at about five foot of water, so we are going to fish at about three foot of water. And uh, we're gonna put this one. Oh wait, I can't cast that one yet. That's the one I'm holding. Hold on, we gotta get the other poles out there first. All right, let's put these bad boys out there. These are the bigger fish rods. We're gonna see if we can get something popping on these. And then, uh, we got this one with a large minnow. And uh, we're gonna try to put this one out here a little bit. And we'll set that one down. All right. All right, so we got those. Now we got pole number three. Oh, this one's going off. Fish on. Yup. All right, we got them. We're in there. Let's do this. We're on the move already. I'm loving it. Right off the rip, we got some action. Dude, it's Sully throwing out some shares. I appreciate it, buddy. It brought a little bit of attention. Boom, African tiger fish. We starting off hot. Let's do it. Challenge complete again. Another two gold coins. So we're looking good on that. Let's put this back out there. Let's put that back down. 
check on our bobber, make sure that's still floating. And we're going to put this one right over here. And we're going to slack it up a little bit so I can turn and look at this bobber too. So we're going to leave that line nice and slack. And uh, we're going to see what happens. Hopefully we can catch some of the other fish that we're looking for over there. I brought peas, sweet peas. They, uh, they also like sweet peas. So we got red worms, we got maggots, and we got sweet peas. So we should be looking pretty good. We're pretty much, we should have our bases covered when it comes to these fish. We got that bobber over there just hanging out. Hopefully it'll catch something. Hopefully. We're anchored down so we don't float nowhere. We're hoping to get lucky here. Hoping. That one's still floating out there. We're hoping to see some kind of action here. We got one right off the rip on the bottom pole on a large minnow so we're hoping for some more action here shooting and hoping for the best we may have to reposition the poles every now and then just to see what's going on with them but uh, we're going to see what happens though We'll give it a minute. Never really know. Uh, if you're chat, if you're tuning in from Facebook, hit up the chat. Let me know you're here so I can recognize you. You can smash on that thumbs up button for me. Throw a like in there. Or some uh, reaction if you want. Shares are always helpful. If you're not a follower, you can become one. Join the Leisure Family. We do streams all the time for everyone's enjoyment. Uh, I haven't seen anything yet. Not yet, I haven't. gonna try to move this bobber here I'm gonna try back here a little ways and see if we catch anything no way I can see this pole and I was just basing that off of the fish finder there Reading at about five foot of water, or so. We're trying maggots. See if we can catch some of these fish that we're looking for. Uh, red worms is supposed to be like the ideal bait for them. Uh, we have some of those too with us, and we got some sweet peas. They do bite sweet peas, so we're gonna try a little bit of everything if we don't get something on it. Then we'll switch it up and uh, we'll try to uh, 
or try to use the red worms or the sweet peas. Hopefully we get something though. got nothing yet we should be at the peak time of the day I can't open the menu because I got a rod in my hand uh, <clears throat> we should be at the peak time of the day here supposed to be we're coming up to the highest peak in time of the day uh, we still have fish showing on the fish finder just got to get some fish to bite we'll be in there Started off with 23 pounds, a little over 23 pounds on a uh, African tiger fish. That's where we started. I should have bought a little hat for my guy that has a light on it or something. But shit did. Uh, nighttime fishing, you can see your bobbers a little better because that one right there. It's going to be hard to see. But I guess uh, I guess we're going to find out. Not seeing anything popping yet. So we're waiting. Fishing is a waiting game. It is a sport of patience. So, hopefully, we will nail something here soon. If not, we could always try a different spot. It doesn't matter. Um, Not getting too lucky here. Oh, so this is what we're gonna do here. We're gonna reel this one in with a large minnow on it to a depth we're at here. Oh, line leader change. Yeah, so we're gonna go about. Six foot of water, five foot of water. I'm sorry. And we're gonna. I don't see any bubbles yet. I don't see any uh, swirls in the water, so we're gonna try to put this out there and then. Toss this one down the way here. Oh, uh, I should have changed the bait on it. I didn't even think about that. Oh, we got a bobber gone. We got a bobber gone. Oh, oh I got him. Woo, fish on. Second fish of the day. Let's do this. Come on up here, big boy. 
Come on. Come on up here. That looks like a nice... It's either a tiger fish or a, it's a perch. It's one or the other. I can't get a good see. I can't get a good view of it just yet. Come on up here. He's not giving in. He's giving me a fight. Come on. I like a fight. I'm going to tighten you up here. Come on now. Come on. Oh, no, not the bottom pole. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, now the bite starts picking up. Now we got two poles going. Come on. Come on. Come on up here. We got one raising cane on the bottom pole. We're probably going to end up losing him. Yep. It timed out. Dang it. Come on up here. Lost the other one. Got a young now perch, eighty one point two five pounds, sixty six hundred and forty five dollars for that beauty right there. I don't know what the uh, screenshot button is. That's a beauty. Throw this one back out there. We're going to try to... No. Give me the pole. There we go. Alright, so we're going to reel this one in. Because it got slammed when we were fighting the one on the bobber over there. And we're going to try to put it back out there. Oh, the bobber's gone. Come on up here. Come on, he's dragging me out with it turned all the way up. These fish are fighters. I love it.
Come on up here. Oh, these fish are fighters, boy. I'm going to tell you. This is how I always miss one on the other pole. Like, I have my drag all the way up, and he's dragging me out. Goodness, he's dragging. He is dragging. There goes the bottom pole. Every time I get into one on the bobber. Every time. I'm going to end up losing that one. I can't catch them all. And it won't let me swap rod holders. Like you can on shore. Can't do that on a boat. I don't have a rod holder with me. I don't think. If I got a rod holder that'll hold one rod. I haven't got a bigger one yet. So, even if I went ashore, I couldn't fish them all. But now, I'm going to lose that one on the bottom because this one has been fighting. And there it goes. Strike timed out. I lost the one on the bottom pole again. We are fighting with this guy. We have max drag on this guy. got here oh my gosh look at this one boom Woo! look at that Nile perch BAM killed it with a hundred and forty eight pounder oh oh my bottom pole's going off again close that out he got hit a second time. He hit it a second time. That's where he messed up. He came back for more. Now nah, I got you. You're mine now, buddy. Come on with it. You going in the fish net. Come on with it. Yes, sir. This is, I believe, is the heaviest rod right here. I think. I think this one's the heaviest one I got. Pretty sure it is. It hasn't surfaced, so it's kind of acting like a catfish at the moment. Nah, it doesn't want to come up here. Come on up here. We're going to get him. He's coming up one way or the other. Pretty sure this is going to be a catfish here.
Come on. He's gonna try to dive back out now. Come here. Come on. Yeah, it's catfish. Boom, it's a Vundu catfish. All right. Put this back out there. I'm put that one there. I'll bring this one back out. I don't see any ripples in the water that I could try to fish. We're gonna put this bad boy back out there. And then uh, we're gonna pick this one back up. Let's try peas. See what happens. All right. So we got three poles. We've been busy. We got 300 pounds in the keep net. We're doing good. We are doing good. Hoping we can nail some more. like the one on the bell. Yep. It's going haywire. <laughs> Come on up here. Come to Papa. on with it come on up here looks like another, yeah, another catfish by the way it's fighting the only bad thing about fishing at night is the catfish are out like crazy well it surfaced out there briefly Keeps coming to the top, but I don't think I don't know. Catfish don't usually come to the top at all. This one's acting a little different. It's a little squeak. No, it's not a catfish. He's squirmy. I think we got ourselves a tiger fish here. Yes, a Goliath tiger fish. Yeah. Woo. We on fire today. Oh boy. We're about to have something take that bobber right there. Something's about to take that bobber and run with it. like he's there I'm just waiting for it to drop up under the water and then that's it it's on waiting for that bobber to sink I 
Wow, it has not went under yet. That's amazing. I'm shocked. That is so crazy. Oh, I thought for sure it'd be gone. Well, I thought for sure something would have took that bobber under already. It's moving around like it wants to. Oh, it's gone. Oh, I got him. Come on. Let's see what we got. Fish on. See what we can bring on in the boat here. Come on with it. And he's a runner. I see him running the surface out there. Ooh, boy, he looked like a good one. Oh, no, not the bottom pole. Dang it. Son of a... Oh, and this one's going to drag me back out. That figures. We're going to lose that fish. Yep, it timed out. I figured. Now we're going to have to hope for it to fight again. Hopefully they'll hit it again. The strike timed out, so the bait should still be there. What do we got here? What is the mystery? What do we catch? Yeah. Come on up here now. Oh, it's another catfish. A trophy bundu. Woo! That's what I'm talking about. Ain't got nothing on the peas. See if we could try uh, red worms. We'll see how those work. Hopefully, we get some luck on that little bobber. I'm hoping, anyway. Maybe I was hoping we could catch some of these uh, exploration fish that we have. I was hoping. 
I was hoping to work on that exploration mission. But uh, we seem to be catching all the bigger fish. <laughs> Which is fine with me. I'm good with it. Uh, we're 40 minutes into the stream and we got uh, 433 pounds of fish so far. So we're doing pretty good. We're doing good. The fish are biting. Without a doubt. We'll see what the next pole gets hit. I don't know if that bottom pole is going to get hit again. Last time it did when the strike timed out it ended up getting hit again by the time we got the fish in on the on the float so maybe we'll get lucky and there's still bait on there hopefully Hoping something hits the red worms out there. I'd like to see something hit that. Something swirling on the big bobber. Let's see what happens. Is he gonna take it? It looks like he might. Go ahead on, take off with it. Oh, yep, there he goes. He's gone. Where's he at? There he is. I got him. Yeah. I got you. Looks like we got a tiger fish on the line. It's either a tiger fish or a Nile perch, one or the other. Let's see which one it is. Oh, you just don't want to turn around, huh? get you I'm gonna get you no doubt looks like it may be a Nile perch I don't know come on up here come on Come on up here. Gotta be a decent one. He is fighting. He is fighting for his life right now. Come on up here. Come on. Woo! Workout catching it. Oh, that's a cat. Is that a catfish?
Yep, that's a catfish. Boom, trophy Cambu. 119 pound catfish, baby. Woo! Look at that. That's a beauty. What we're going to do is we're going to try to drop this leader down a good bit. About there. We're going to toss it out here. See what happens. We're going to reel this one in because they got a timed out bite. So we're going to recast it. Fish on. We are on. Ha! Yeah. We got him. Hopefully. Hopefully we get this guy in before we get another bite. I hope. We get another bite. We are so screwed that bite will time out. You can't swatch. You can't swap poles. And uh, keep fishing. Oh, there goes the bobber. Dang it. Every time. Every time I get hooked into a fish, the other one goes off. <laughs> All right, so when I leave this time, I'm going to grab a rod holder. That's what I'm going to do. We're going to get a rod holder, and we're going to come back out here, and we're going to fish some shore. And that way, we can double these things. And we can fish with two poles. We get a bite on one. We can drop one, put the other, pick the other one up, get that one. We can't do that on a boat. So, dang. I'm going to lose that bite. That's terrible. That sucks. He's going to get away, I got a feeling. The bite's going to time out and we're going to lose him. He is raising cane on that thing. And it's a, this is a catfish, too. Really? Out of all things? All right, let's see if we can get... Oh, it timed out right as I got the fish up here. <laughs> no way. Dang. Man... That's terrible. Oh, that's too far. That is definitely too far. Hold on a second. Man. Had a good bite right there, too. Ah, Could have been a possible tiger fish right there. On the bobber. Dang it. Couldn't have been so lucky, man. Dang. <sighs> well, we tried. I had him up. As soon as I got that fish on the boat, the bite timed out. That is horrible.
So we're up to 637 and a half pounds right now in our keep net. We're hoping for a bite here. We are not getting nothing here. Let me, uh, let me recast my bobber pole here. Try throwing it down here. All right, I can see both bobbers right now. So, hopefully, hopefully we'll nail something here. Looks like something might be after that that large minnow on the bobber over there. Let's see. Yep, it's gone. It's gone. Woo, boy, he is running with it. Yeah. He had took off with it. We got one fish on. We'll see what we get. Woo, this is some strong fish. I'm trying to drag out line now. Hopefully we can get him to turn his direction here. We're gaining. We're gaining. And he's going for he's switching directions. All right, that's how we gain on him. We get him to change that direction. We gain line. We gain ground. Right now he's diving down. He's diving down and straight out. Got to get him to come up. Changes, changes direction here. And he's going this way now. No, he's going back this way. I think this might be a... This is a tiger fish. Oh. The game is loading. Boom. Young now perch. That's what I'm talking about. Bam. That's a beauty. I'm going to make a TikTok of that real quick. Ha <laughs> ha. We're gonna make a little 15 second reel here. TikTok. 
Hit that follow button. Join the Leisure family. This is what we're doing. We're catching monsters out of the Congo River on Fishing Planet. Come join us. Facebook and Twitch. We're streaming on both. Leisure Gaming. Woo. What I'm talking about. Set it on out there for netting. Hoping for another bike. Should be one coming soon. Should be one coming soon. I'm waiting for it. It's gone. It is gone. Huh. Oh, yeah, we got a monster here. Yep. Come on with it. We're sitting at 706 pounds of fish right now. Moving right along here. Let's see what we got. He didn't fight like the other ones did. It's a catfish. A Vundu catfish. 50 pounds. $3,600 for that fish. Throw that one back out there. See what else we can get. Definitely gonna have to pick up some more minners. Gonna have to pick up some more large minners.
Oh, they got caught him 189.92 pound trophy Nile perch. That's nice. That's a decent one right there. Awaiting the next bite. What is that ding I hear? Every time it dings, I don't know what that is. Oh boy. Gonna have to get ready to go to work, Shane. Fine, fine fish. 217 pound trophy Nile perch. That guy caught him a nice and He must have maxed out when he caught that one. He left right after. shorten this up here to about uh, we're gonna go four foot and we're gonna go here and I didn't bring any with me dang I was gonna swap the hook out on it no uh, we're in the low time of day right now that's why we're not really getting much no, I don't want to do that. Dang it.
Coming back up to the hot time. So, see what happens. Oh, that didn't go as planned. Oh well, Let's see what happens. Top off our keep net, cash out. <clears throat> we'll see how well we do. Oh, bottom line's gone. Bottom rods on the run. That's good. Come on up here. Oh, he is just steady running over this direction. Let's see what we get. I think it might be a catfish. Yeah, it's catfish. And we are some catfish catching foos. Yeah, got a Camba catfish. Put us up to 841, so we're not far away from tapping out on the keep net. Bottom rod's going off. Coming in fairly easy at the moment. That doesn't always last, though. Yeah, this is probably a catfish. I had to guess. Another catfish. Boom. Bundu catfish, 44 pounds. We are stacking on catfish for some reason. It's supposed to be the tiger fish bait. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> catfish eat everything. What do you want?
What happened? Strike was done too early. I'm confused. That's not what I wanted. Power pole's gone. Oh. I didn't even know it was gone. Dang. Looks like we might have something going on here. Might have one going after the bobber. Hey, there's the ripples.
We need uh, one more decent fish and it'll max us out. Let's see what we get. Well, it looks like something might be after the bobber again. The big bobber. The big fish bubble. Let's see if he's got it. See if he's got what it takes to take that bait. Let's see if he's hungry enough. Is he hungry enough? Bloop, it's gone. It is gone. Yep, I got him. Come here. Yes, sir. Come on with it. Come on, uh, peon. I wouldn't doubt it if it's another catfish, but usually you don't ca usually you catch them on the bottom poles. Yeah, it's a catfish. Oof. 93 pound Kamba catfish, $7,147. And that will put us over our limit right there. We will not be able to reel in any more fish. So we're going to go ahead and cash out. That put us at $95,567. Not too bad. Not too bad. Cashing out at ninety-five thousand dollars. So that's not too shabby. Uh, what I did want to look at the rod stands. This one's unlocked. So it's ninety-five gold coins. The only other thing they got is a triple rod stand there. Or triple feeder rod, yeah, three rods. And that one is a two rod. That one is two single stands. And I haven't gotten this far yet. I would love to get that one. This I want this one really. In, uh, in reality. I would love to have this one when I get level 50. Would absolutely love to have the four rod. Uh, but we're not at a point where we can really get anything. I got this one. This one's a triple. We could use that one. But it's 60 gold coins. So we're kind of stuck here with the duels. Uh, I guess we're going to have to buy this one for now. And then... Uh, Put this on him. And then uh, we could just sell these. Alright. And that will be that. Uh, we will have to go and buy some more large minnows. We gotta find them right here. What does that put us at? It gives us 72, so we're doing pretty good there. All right. 
I'm curious how much their boats are. There's a nice bass boat right there. Not for 2,000 gold coins, though. They are crazy. Uh, yeah, I'm sure we can get a nice bass boat when that time comes. We will definitely pick up one of those. All right, this will be it for this stream, guys. I got to go get ready for work. I appreciate everybody who showed up to show their love and support for Leisure Gaming. It has been fantastic. Look out for the videos on YouTube as well. Uh, I'm starting to upload all of them on YouTube, so you can catch them on there and follow us on there. Uh, appreciate all the love and support, the likes, the shares, the, all that from Facebook. Uh, and we will see everyone on the next stream. This is Leisure Gaming. Out.